Hey guys, Buffer Game Bad. Today, bringing out a video, and today we're going over everything you need to know for Season One Reloaded. Primarily, the addition of raids here coming in Season One Reloaded on December fourteenth, so that should be launching here next week on Wednesday. I think this will be going live. We're gonna get new operators, raids, new DMZ location on the map, which is gonna be a special location very similar to what Labs is in Tarkov. It is kind of what it looks like and kind of sounds like. And we're going to be getting raids, a lot of things. So we're going to go ahead and jump into all this. Now, we're going to link down below the blog post here for Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2's blog post for what is Warzone C or excuse me, Season 1 Reloaded, as well as the addition, everything DMZ, raids, and Building 21, which is this new redacted location, which is a biochemical laboratory. So this is, again, this is that location that is secret, redacted. You need a key card to get in. And how to get those key cards, we don't even know yet. Um, but that'll be very similar, at least what it looks like from the screenshot here in the blog post to the the labs mission or level on um escape from tarkov so go ahead and jump right into it again that article is linked down below so a lot here coming for season one first off is with the uh autumn grad raid so this is going to be the special ops raid the first raid here coming for call of duty modern warfare 2 this is not going to be free to play so you do need to own a physical copy of the game to play this so what this is it looks it looks awesome the trailer you can see playing in the background here a little bit um now this is going to be a continuation from campaign this is going to take place with farah gaz and um captain price from what it looks like here in the trailer so the setting for this and the story behind it is in Urgistan. so on the, tr on the trail out of the mission team, Price, Farah, Gaz make a grim discovery in an underground bunker. Continuing from the events of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, the first special ops raid is something that will take in the words of Captain himself, violence and timing. Those who successfully complete the raid will unlock a familiar face, that being the Gaz operator, available for multiplayer special ops in Warzone 2. It will also unlock a harder difficulty playlist that will test even veteran operators. You can expect plenty of Intel awards, additional cosmetic items, and in addition of intriguing data provided in the Modern Warfare 2 universe. So preparing for the raid, how do you prepare for the raid? And again, we have some nice screenshots of the raid mission here. As you can see, the trailer also looks like an underground bunker where a lot of it is flooded. You're going to be cut off from communication uh, from Laswell, according to the trailer here as well. So accessing the raids. Now, you can't just jump into raids. First off, like I said, you need to own a physical copy of or a digital copy of Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this is not a free-to-play uh, addition to the game because it is a continuation from single player or campaign and spec ops. So how do you access raids? There's three missions here. Complete the specific daily challenge for either multiplayer or spec ops in order to unlock a raid key card. Uh, or you can place within the top 20 of any Warzone 2 Battle Royale playlist in DMZ. Use the final extra helicopter and extract with at least thirty thousand dollars in cash. So those are the three ways to do it. You're going to want to complete either uh, very specific daily challenges for multiplayer spec ops, place within top twenty of any Warzone two battle royale playlist, or extract in the very final helicopter in DMZ with thirty thousand in cash. So that will unlock you a raid uh, key, and that'll be earned. So you can access you if as long as you have a raid key, you can pull in whoever, even if they don't have a raid key. And you'll have access to the raid for up to a week by completing one of those those challenges to or those methods to get the raid key. So you can pull in any friends, even if they haven't completed it, and you'll have access to play it for up to a week. And then you'll have to probably go through another one of the methods again to uh, get the key for that. So although there are only one mandatory requirement for raid access, the raid key, we have a couple of additional tips prior to infiltration. So... Warm up with spec ops, uh, get familiar with how agents fight against you. Again, that's just how the AI, everything like that. Or um, also is tear up those kits. So in, there's spec ops kits. There's like assault, medic, and some other ones there. Support, I believe it was. So if you level those up, you're going to have additional things unlocked for each kit. And that'll make it easier. Again, it's going to improve your survivability with a three-man squad. So the raid is uh, a three-man co-op experience. Again, a continuation from Modern Warfare 2 campaign. And by completing it, you're going to unlock some skins, which we'll get into, mainly the Gaz Operator. And uh, you'll have one specific skin for the Operator Gaz. And then there will be another skin unlocked for him in the store, which you can buy. So we'll get into that. 
Now, we're also going to be having the shipment multiplayer playlist arrive here. So, we're going to have shipment coming back. And again, this looks actually, it looks, I like what they did with Shoot House here for season one of Modern Warfare 2. And I really like what shipment is looking like. Shipment's kind of a niche map. It's good to play once in a while here and there, but it does look like it's a dark, more, at, a darker atmosphere, maybe some rain going on here in the environment. So, it's going to be a rainy environment again very it reminds me uh very reminiscent of even though it's shipment it really reminds me of the call of duty modern warfare called for modern warfare the original modern warfare that very first single player mission where you're on the ship and that night mission on the ship and that ended up being a uh, multiplayer map too so that's kind of more so what this looks like especially with the rain and things like that uh, but it looks a lot of fun there's going to be a holiday shipment playlist available as well so i do like the holiday shipment uh playlist when they do these not even just shipment but like modern warfare the previous call of duties you had like the crass christmas map and some other things there's always some easter eggs um they're very niche but again they're definitely fun around the holidays i always do have a really good time playing those holiday maps uh it just definitely gets you in the christmas spirit as weird as that sounds now jumping into some additional things added to warzone 2 so building 21 this is that secret redacted location so find a way into this restricted redacted and redacted so that's all we know about it this is going to be a secret location we'll get into a little bit more here in a second there's also going to be so in addition to the building 21 which is a new addition to the map there's going to be warzone cup and mini royale available for a limited time so these will be available at day one at the start of uh modern warfare season one reloaded now the new area for dmz building 21 i'm not sure if this is going to be accessible in in uh warzone as well on amazra but Building 21, we have a screenshot here, and you'll see it uh, in the blog post if you go ahead and take a look, and it might have a flash of it. it I, I believe it's probably part of this bunker for the uh, the Autumn Grad raid. I'll have to wait and see kind of if this ties in, um, but it does look really, really reminiscent for whatever reason of labs. The dark environment looks, it looks really cool, and I just get lab vibes from Tarkov for whatever reason, even though I don't think it's supposed to be anything related to that, but that's just the vibe I get from the screenshot. Now... What we have, how do we access this? New keys have appeared in Amazra, but where do they lead? Now, that's obviously this uh, this new area, Bunker 21. So, its location is classified. Its benefactors are unknown, but one thing is for certain is that the clandestine biological laboratory, codenamed Building 21, only the strongest operators may survive, let alone access the deadliest areas in DMZ. Players will need redacted to access redacted so there's going to be a lot of steps to kind of get this price with specific keys do some very difficult things in order to get in there uh with great risk comes great reward high tier contraband found throughout the building especially in safes special areas that require key card access what other secrets await in the journey so this again reminds me of a lot of the verdansk bunker uh easter egg hunt so this is going to be something similar to that but i think taken to the extreme which is going to be great so this is going to be kind of a secret location and again, a lot of high tier loot, things like that. I have to see if it's going to be in Warzone 2.0 also on that map or if it's just going to be a DMZ uh, experience. But it sounds really good and it looks really cool by the screen, the limited screenshots we have. Then we have Warzone Cup and Mini Royale will be coming. So Mini Royale, I'm assuming, is going to obviously take place on Almazra, just the same same type of limited map cutoff that we saw with Verdansk back in the day and even Caldera. So that'll be cool. The Warzone Cup is going to be, again, an LTM or a limited time playlist. Um, not really sure too many of the details of that. If it's going to be just kind of a Warzone tournament type thing or what it's going to be. They do detail some things here in the blog post, but I really think uh, it's more along the lines for the, the World Cup that's going on. It's kind of tying to, to that. So we'll have to wait and see kind of really what that looks like. Probably not the most interesting thing unless it's some sort of tournament style uh, playlist. Now, the next thing we have new operators. So two new operators here are going to be Gaz and Klaus are coming with this update for season one reloaded. So we have Test Switch 141 Gaz um, and then Klaus, which is, again, he's we have some information here about him, which we'll get into. Uh, making a Silent Night with a new Cremera weapon available. Again, that's going to be the Q Honey Badger available mid-season in is a custom built for stealth. That's going to be unlockable via a challenge and store bundles. We don't know what that challenge is yet. Um, don't just squad up group ups. There's new social features that allow you to meet fellow community members with similar interests um, both in and out of games. So that should be pretty cool too. And they do have some details on here in the blog post. If you want to go ahead and check that out, there's more information. Now the two new operators, obviously we're getting Gaz. That's going to be really cool. He's going to have two new outfits. So the one outfit um, that you'll get by completing the raid mission is going to be 
they go into it here in the, in the blog post, but you're going to have one outfit, and then I believe it's going to be the outfit available in store will be the one that he's using in that water mission. The first time we see him in the campaign where he's uh, swimming underwater and you're taking out stealthily the enemy. So I believe that's going to be the one that's going to be unlocked in the um, in the store. So how to unlock, complete the Automagod Special Ops Raid to unlock Gaz and his convoy skin. So uh, the convoy skin, I think it's going to be from that mission convoy, again, near the end of the campaign there, where you're chasing down the convoy that uh, AQ has taken uh, Laswell. Now, also available in the store bundle is the aquatic skin. Now, that, again, sounds more like what I just said, the uh, mission where you're, where you're taking out the enemies via stealth in the water there. Um, parts of the bundle will unlock the grass ops skin and bonus rewards. So there's a lot here, different weapons, things like that. Now, the Kraus Fisker is the next operator. The only image we have of him is with this uh, Santa-type suit, his Christmas suit, which is obviously going to be a store bundle. Now, the information about him we'll get into here in a second, but there, I have seen other screenshots of him that were leaked previously. This guy looks a lot like Dusty from um, Medal, of Honor, Medal of Honor 2010 and Medal of Honor Warfighter, which I believe was 2012. So if you guys go ahead and look that up, Dusty from those Medal of Honor games, it looks a lot like him, just a little bit different face, but the uh, cosmetics and everything look very similar. So he has a, the exact look as Dusty. Which I'm really excited for. Dusty's one of my favorite characters from that series. Um, so it's cool to have an operator that looks relatively similar to him here in the game. And again, the, the only images we have in the blog post are, are of his like Santa Claus skin and, and bundle, which obviously will be available in the store. So some information here about Klaus Fisker, or aka Dusty, which I'm going to just end up calling him. Uh, a member of Denmark's elite special forces, Klaus Fisker is almost to consider a living legend among operators, some say. His sociopath vision, his natural night vision, is powerful enough to help him navigate in the pitch black darkness. He was old enough, since he was old enough to read. Others witnessed his expectational training record, leading to his peers' unbridled optimism through exercise. So there's just more information about his operations in Yurgistan. We'll probably get into all this when the bundle comes out and the operator comes out, getting into all this. So how to unlock... Uh, Klaus is available in-game store via Klaus Operator Bundle. So, not really sure how we're going to unlock different skins for him. I really hope the Christmas skin isn't the only one because that would be a little upsetting. Again, I have seen I have seen a very realistic Dusty-type skin of him of his. So, hopefully, there's a couple different skins that come with him. Um, and it's not just they didn't just kind of scrap one for this Christmas skin because that wouldn't make sense. So, I'm assuming we're going to have probably the... Uh, the base operator, and then probably closer to the holidays, we'll have this Christmas skin available too. So the new weapon is the Kremira, the assault rifle. Again, this is the Q Honey Badger 4300 Blackout, so it's going to be subsonic, mainly built for close quarters engagements. Now, I know we will be able to change this so we can remove the uh, the suppressor from this, because I, I I have seen some different builds of it so far, and I think there, some of those have been floating around. You could play with it a little bit in the private lobbies. However, you couldn't change the barrel or anything like that, so we'll really have to see what they bring with it here at the launch of the season, or the mid-season, um, definitely new attachments will be added down the road for sure, because we have seen a lot of those uh, there as well. Now, again, different star bundles. We're going to have uh, the Klaus Tracer Pack Operator Bundle. This is going to be that Christmas skin for him. We have the Dune Stalker, which is going to be available for actual money and not COD points. This one looks like you're going to get the XM2010 with that rangefinder scope on it, which will be pretty cool. And... Uh, Again, some more holiday bundles, things like that. Then there's going to be a lot of details here to the um, the new social features available here in the game. Combat record updates, different Christmas things, uh, CDL playlists, a lot of this stuff going on. Um, the COD Warzone Bowl, all of this is detailed here in the blog post. The main things here are the new Omnigrad raid. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Again, the trailer here, um, it looks very immersive. And again, I'm really excited to see kind of how long this mission itself lasts um and how difficult it is again you need to play with up to two friends so three players total co-op mission as gaz farah and price and you're going to infiltrate this underground bunker which is going to cut you off from communication from hq that being laswell and you're going to have to go through and discover a lot of stuff is what it sounds like so there's going to be some underwater aspects from this in the trailer we do see some teasers and hints to um, underwater breathable device, which hopefully will potentially translate into DMZ and Warzone eventually uh, to help you breathe underwater longer. That'll be pretty cool. Um, so there's a lot of information here. And again, this this map itself 
um, for the on the ground playlist or the the raid itself looks really really cool and this is probably going to be something that's going to be an underground bunker added to El Mazra at some point so really excited to see that really excited to jump into bunker 21 and see if that's part of the on the ground map or the raid itself which is going to be again translated into um, Warzone and DMZ let me know your thoughts down below what are you most excited for personally I'm really excited for the honey badger I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see what the customization is with that hopefully they give us a lot of options right off the bat um, but more than anything, I think the raid mission is going to be a lot of fun, and I really am excited for the uh, operator skin for Gaz that we get from completing the raid, as well as uh, the Klaus operator. I think if it, if the base skin available in the shop on Wednesday is going to be the one that I've seen, then it's definitely going to be worth the money. I'm really excited to see it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What are you most looking forward to? What do you dislike? What do you want to see in future seasons? Let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Season 1 Reloaded Information. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Raids making their debut on Wednesday with the Season 1 Reloaded, Wednesday, December 14th. Till next time, Buffman Gaming, out.